It's great, could you stop um, hammering? I'm just about to do something important over here. Sorry, excuse, sorry, excuse me, could you stop hammering? I'm about to, to so, sorry, sorry, thank you. Good. We can now walk in the park, on the path and on the grass. Look at the kids on the swings, they're so happy. People are bound to sit to have a lovely picnic. Oh look, that family is doing a bike ride. But what do I like to do when I'm in the park, asks you. I like to dress as an Arsenal coach and stand near people playing football with a clipboard. They think that I'm scouting them when I'm on my iPhone and I'm watching Shrek. Oh, and I like to dress uh, talk about as an Arsenal coach. Do you want to talk about Jesus? Do you have a moment to talk about? Okay. So do you want to talk about God? Maybe it's the flyers. I think the writing on the flyers is too big. It's not, it's not the flyers, it's, it's the people here in Wybridge. You've got to earn their respect, you know? And once you've got that, they'll be eating out of the palm of your hand. Yeah, people here, they don't, they don't respect me, they don't listen. They say things like, what are you talking about? Or, stop, you have to stop. But I'll never stop, I just want to talk to... Don't stop. Mm. Never stop. That, that, yeah, that, that, that's what I was saying. I'm not going to stop, I'm going to keep going. Don't be selfish. Got to think of the kids. I mean, just today, a kid came up to me, crying. Right? Because you've seen me perform. <sighs> it is. Right. It's, it's, it's always the case. I haven't finished speaking Sorry. Yet. Sorry. And remember, he was screaming, he was crying, going, oh, I'm, I'm, where's my mum, where's my mum? Well, I don't know, something like that. But I saw his face, right? And his face was the face of an Asian person, but younger, like I had when I was younger, because I was, I was like, I'm Asian. And do you know what I saw in him? Did you see me? I saw You're myself saw in him, yeah. Him, yeah. yeah. Sorry. And I said something to him that day, today that he'll probably never hear from anyone ever again. What did you say? I'm youth in the future. It's the kick up the arse he needed. He'll probably go and invent a time travel machine now. Probably. That's the sort of thing that I'm doing here every weekend. And that's the gift you're going to give too, man. Trust me. I don't know. No one really seems to listen to me. The only time I got an audience was when I was preaching, but I needed to take my jacket off but I hadn't undone the buttons, so my hands got stuck. So I was trying to take my jacket off, but the harder I pulled, the more stuck I got. And some kids, they started filming on their, on their phones, and uh, they just watched me try to get out of my jacket. Uh, eventually, I got the jacket off, and they all like, cheered and high-fived, hugging each other and stuff. But I don't know, unless you want to get people to watch me escape from a jacket, wait, 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 we're going to be wait, wait, here wait. for a while. Shut up. How much money do you have? Hello, is this on? It is. You're recording it on your phone? I'm gonna show you a miracle today uh, in the form of an escape act. Do we know who the first escape artist of all time was? Houdini. It was, it was, it was Jesus Christ was the first escape artist because he, he died for our skin, sins and then he... Is, it, is this steel? Oh, I asked you to get steel. Hey! Oh my God, my thrush is out of control. Hello. Hey. Have you got a new friend? No, it's a new guy. He's a street performer, one of us now. Oh, wow. Welcome to the gang. Cheers, yeah. What do you do? Oh, let me guess. Um, snake charmer. No, I'm an escape artist, hopefully. It's, it's my first time doing it. What's in your bags? Oh, this. Um, so I'm working on a costume for my next one woman show. It's going to be the new flea bag. It's, good, it's a good thing. OK, great. Yeah, it should be fun. I mean, you never know, though. Sometimes you work really hard on things and you think they'll be good and then you do them and then people don't like them as much as you think they should and then suddenly you're just crying in the shower, you know? <laughs> and there's a voice in your head and it's like, why did you structure the act like that? There's too many characters. You're an embarrassment. You've embarrassed yourself again. But, you know, you just push that voice down, like repress it because you're in charge of your own happiness at the end of the day. Yeah. So, yeah, it should be exciting. Should be good. Yeah. The straight jacket will represent the sins we are born with and the, the chains represent the sins that we we choose every day to live with. The box will represent eternal damnation that we condemn ourselves to if we don't repair our relationship with God. So that's going to be good. Have you heard about this new restaurant opening in town? Heard it's owned by a French person. Well, well a, fr a Frenchman? Well, there's a lot of buzz about it in the town. There's a grand opening in two weeks. Is that owned by the WH Smiths? 
and the big corner shop and the pharmacy where I have my breakdown. Yeah, I think the town's going to be rocking. This national crowd. I'm going to have my first snail. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. If you do up the buckles at the back, and, oh, are you you leaving? Well, we, we had them for a bit, and that was nice. What did Jonah say to his family before he went to Nineveh? Something felt, smells fishy. Uh, let's get the chains on. So you're going to be doing a sermon whilst trying to tie yourself up in chains. I don't get it. <laughs> Sorry, what am I doing again? It's very simple, right? It's an escape act and a street preacher act at the same time. It's, it's a fusion of two genres into one genre. You know, it's like a circus, but like also a porno. As long as it's getting the word of God out, I guess. And the good thing about that thing is you have something really good, right? You're doing one good thing, sort of fun and interesting and sort of like really nice. And at the same time, you're doing something really bad and boring and dull and draining, right? And you put that together with the really fun, interesting stuff. And that'll make that stuff seem like it's better in comparison. Do you see what I mean? And then the whole act will like seem as if it's actually good. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, that is so clever. Yeah, I can yeah. see it now. Yeah. Sorry, can you explain the bit about the porno? <laughs> Wrap this around and then... Oh, that's, that, we've done that wrong. And just padlock it to another one of the rings. And it reminds me of a quote from King Solomon. He had lots of money and land, and uh, he lived in a big villa. And the best thing about that is, right, we're not adding in a third thing yet. Once you add in a third thing, then we've got ourselves a goddamn show. It's funny you mentioned the three in one, actually, because I was thinking of doing this whole thing with the Holy Trinity, actually. Oh, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Exactly, yeah, yeah. that's the one. No, no, not for me. It's three persons in one. That's like, what? It's like six legs, like a horrible, awful, deformed spider. No, not for me. I'll leave it. I think a spider has eight legs, actually. OK, right. If you've got more than two arms, they become legs. Right, so that's like 12 legs in total. That's three heads. Nah, it doesn't sit right with me. Well, it's more of a, it's not really a physical thing. It's more abstract than this. It's not, I just think this we is shouldn't quite fun, do... actually. Um, what if it was a Megazord from Power Rangers? Yeah, no, no. so it like it stacks on top of each other. Yeah, so I get it. It's like Father, Son, Father, Son. No, yeah, I, I really, I I really don't think from. we should be talking not about the Holy Imagine Spirit. Imagine drawing that. The Holy Spirit's we important. Should, we, should draw, we should draw it. We shouldn't draw it. We should draw it. I don't think we should draw We should draw it. No, And then we put it into your act. That becomes the third thing. I, I can't even. I can't even draw. I'll draw it. I'll draw it. You I've draw got time. It. I've got time. I'm yeah. no peeking. Please don't draw the Holy Trinity. Draw Surprise. it. Draw it. Oh. Draw it. Draw it. We all face challenges in life, but you can overcome any challenge with the power of God. I imagine many of you are looking at me now, wondering what, why am I doing this routine? Am I trying to? Hang? Oh no! God bless you. No, no, no. It's an escape. I'm gonna, gonna escape like Jesus escaped from the. Ki Bye. Okay, never mind. Um, fine. Are you sure I'm not making a huge mistake about this? This um, is going to be great. And look, I know what it's like to be new in town, you know. I moved here with my boyfriend a few years ago thinking maybe if we move, things would change, we could get the spark back. But it turns out the problem isn't the location, it's just us. Like, our personalities clash. Like, okay, so I'm a classic Pisces and he's a very militant Sag. So we have absolutely nothing in common and our sex life is humiliating. But, you know, we were trying to give it a go. So did you move here with anyone or are you alone? I've lived here for two years. Have you? Yeah, we've spoken before today. And do you remember, you gave out to me one time, you shouted at me because I was walking too loudly. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that ruined everything, remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, I am sorry about that. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off. I have to do the performance. Wish me luck, yeah? Hey, good yeah, luck, good mate. luck. You'll pray for me, yeah? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, thanks, guys. Right. Oh, hang on. I've gotten this thing. Hang on. I want to show that you can escape these problems, whether it's your personal problems or a straight jacket and your chains uh, with the power of God. Um, so I'll, 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 get, I'll get in the box now. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, thank you. Hey, well, Cheers. Man. So, you know you were saying how, like, you escaping out of the box was it like a metaphor for Jesus Christ escaping out of the cave. And I said that was like a big pile of, like, fucking wang. Yeah? Yeah that, yeah, that hurt my feelings. So I was thinking, it's actually a good idea, you know, you coming out of the box, you know, Jesus rising from the dead after three days, I think it, I think it's great. You should do it. You should do that. Great. Yeah. Let's do that then. Should Perfect. we? Yeah, do it? Yeah. Cool, man. Great. great. Good to hear it, because a lot of people wouldn't uh, want to be in a box for three days, but it's cool to know that you're 100% committed, and I really appreciate that. Thanks, man. Hang on. Hang on. I think, I think I've misunderstood something. Yeah. You want me to actually stay in the box for three days? 
Well, yeah, it's what like Jesus did. So, you know, you don't want to. Don't want to mess with the classics. You know, you're already not in a cave, so just. So the people, they don't, they don't even see me escape. No, no, they see you escape. Yeah. It's after three days. It's a commitment. You've got to be committed to this. No, I, trip. I, I can't stay in the box for three days. I've got a delivery tomorrow. Two days then. Two days. You play by ear. If you don't like it. You know, we let you out. If you don't, maybe three days. Who knows? Please, please don't lock me in a box for three days. So how about like we say, if you 100% commit. Right, and you do it properly, I will let you out of the box, you know, as soon as you want to be let out of the box. How about that? I can't get out of this stuff. It's the first time I'm doing it. Yeah, well, maybe uh, God will let you out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah? But, but you promise you'll let me out, though? Just, just commit, yeah? OK. Say it, I'll commit. I'll, I'll commit, I will commit, but D you well, promise, that's all, yeah? That's all you need. See you, good luck. See, see you on the outside. Yeah. I'll, I'll get in the box and I'll, I'll escape. Unless I, does anyone have any questions or any challenges? God will get me out of this. 100% committed, so I'll let, no. I've done everything. Let's go. Yeah, I couldn't have done any more. I've really committed. Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can get out. If there's any good Samaritans passing by, maybe they'd like to help me out of this box. I'm giving this 100%. Hey, so hey, hey, come, no. If someone could let me out, I'd, yeah, thank, I'd no. love that. Yeah, thank you. That would be great. Cheers. I've really yeah, committed fine. to thank this. Yeah, it's fine, thank you. It feels like it's dark outside. The chains are really heavy. Yeah. Oh, please help me out, if that's OK. Yeah, that's good. I think I, think I feel another panic attack coming on. When you turn 12 and your birthday, your father will return to you. Uh, you will kill him. It's very important that you learn Korean. Yeah? Remember that, learn Korean. Don't go crypto either. That's a, that's a mess. Do you want to cut your finger off and see what it does to my hand or? No? Okay.